On October 16th, Nubia Magazine revealed the results of the Global Poll and Survey for the Most Beautiful Woman in the World of 2023. Surpassing 39 famous female celebrities from around the world, Jisoo secured the number one spot with 200,000 votes from 86 countries. The certificate will be sent to YG Entertainment. Following Jisoo, twice as Tsuyu and Lisa took the second and third spots in this poll, respectively. Congratulations to the girls. Meanwhile, after a surprise appearance in Thailand to celebrate her father's birthday, Lisa enjoyed this short break with her family and friends in her hometown. On October 16th, the youngest member of Blackpink was spotted with Alice and her friends, vipping to the music at the famous Echelon nightclub in Bangkok, celebrating Alice and her husband's anniversary. Lisa is so sweet. She doesn't just see Alice as a manager or a close friend, but also as a part of her family. Hopefully, the girls will live their best lives in Krung Thep, Thailand's City of Angels. Meanwhile, despite no specific prior promotion activities, Jenny's special single, You and Me, has achieved impressive milestone. Just as YG stated, an achievement achieved only with Jenny's unrivaled influence and the power of the music itself. On October 17th, Jenny finally debuted at number one on the Billboard Global Excluding US chart with her year-old leaked song. Jenny now joins Rosé as the only Korean female soloist to debut at number one on the Billboard Global 200, excluding US singles chart in history. Congrats, Jenny. Meanwhile, while on October 17th, Rose has safely arrived in South Korea from her overseas schedule in Los Angeles. However, over two weeks in LA, there have been absolutely no photos or clips regarding her schedule, fueling numerous speculations about its potential connection to the future of the Blackpink members or something important. Recently, a viral photo on social media showed Rose having a secret meeting with Ron Perry, CEO of Columbia Records, during Paris Fashion Week. In the picture, Perry could be seen explaining something to Rosé while the main vocalist of Blackpink listened intently to what he was saying. It's unclear whether it was a coincidence or not, but around the same time this photo was spreading, high-ranking personnel from Columbia Records, including its president Jennifer Mallory, suddenly began following the Blackpink members on Instagram. However, while many are excited about the possibility of the girls signing a contract with Columbia Records, others believe it's not a good idea. These fans point out that the senior vice president of Columbia Records was one once a notorious antis of Blackpink, even being caught engaging in fan wars shading the group. Regardless, signing a contract with Columbia Records might not be the best choice. However, it indicates the possibility that the girls have decided to re-sign with YG. It's known that Treasure signed a partnership with Columbia Records this year, and one thing is certain. If Blackpink were to leave YG, they wouldn't sign with a company associated with YG. What do you think about it?